In this video, I am going to show you how to set up free NAS on VMware. Free NAS is an operating system built in with NAS features. Here we are going to install free NAS in VMware. First, we need to download the free NAS from the portal. In the description, I have already attached the download link. You can use the link for downloading the free NAS. This is a free NAS operating system we can use for our custom hardware. The major thing is we require two hard drives for installing the free NAS. One is for the purpose of installing the free NAS operating system. Second is for the NAS functionality for saving the data. That case we can use multiple hard drive for storing the data. In this setup I am only showing one hard drive for configuring the storage pool. First I need to open the VMware then go to file create new virtual machine then press select the typical recommended then press the next button select the free NAS operating system from disk then press the next button put the name of the virtual machine and storage location then press the next button select the storage drive the primary installation drive we required only maximum 20 GB for the operating system but the minimum memory will be 8 GB here I am using 20 GB of hard drive. Before finishing the setup, we need to add one more hard drive. Then press the finish button. Select the virtual machine. Then press the edit button. Increase the memory and processor for the installation. Minimum memory is 4 GB. Recommended is 8 GB of memory. Here we can see only one hard drive. We need one more hard drive for the storage pool. I am just adding one more hard drive for the storage pool. Here we have already added two hard drive and increase the processor and memory capacity. Then press the OK button. If we power on the virtual machine, it will start to boot from FreeNAS operating system. If you are booting first time, we need to install the FreeNAS. You can select using the number key 1. After 10 seconds, it will start automatically. Here it is started automatically. Here we need to select the first option to install or upgrade the FreeNAS. Then press the OK button. This is a warning for memory. Press the Yes for installing. Now we can see two hard drive. One is for installing FreeNAS. The another one is for data for storage pool. I am selecting the primary one. Then pressing the OK button. Here don't select the second partition. Now we will get the option for installation. Proceeding the installation, then select the S option. Type the root password. Don't forget this root password. This is a password we are using for logging the FreeNAS. Press the continue button. If we are using the BIOS boot, we can select BIOS. Or if we are using the EUFI, we can select EUFI. Here I am using the BIOS. So I am selecting the BIOS boot. Usual scenario, it will take time to boot. In this video, I am using the fast forwarding for avoiding the lagging of video. Now, our installation is finished. Meanwhile, we need to remove the installation media and then we need to press the reboot. As of now, I am pressing the OK button. Now, our system will reboot. After rebooting, it will start to load in the FreeNAS operating system. For completing the setup, it will take time. Here I am doing the fast forwarding for avoiding the lagging of video. It may take time, depend upon the hardware. Once finish the setup, we will get the IP from the DHCP. Here we can see the web interface access IP. We need to use that IP for logging the FreeNAS. Minimize the VMware and open the web browser. Type the IP of the FreeNAS. Then enter the username. Default username is root. The password is, which is the password we used for the installation time. Enter that one. Now, our FreeNAS installation has been finished. For creating the storage pool, we need to select storage, then pool, then press add the storage pool, then create new pool, then create the pool. Enter the name of the pool. If you want to select the encryption, we can select the encryption, then select the hard drive, then press the create button. Confirm for losing the old data then press the create pool now we have created the storage pool then 
Then next we can use the sharing options. Also we can create the user for accessing the share space. This is a video only based on the VMware installation. You can get the download link from the description box. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.